Usually when you come across someone on this website, they would usually talk about themselves or they would ask the other person about them and wouldn't think a whole lot about it up until multiple people starts talking about the same individual to the point that they became somewhat relevant within that moment. At first, I thought someone was trying to start a rumor in order to steer up some drama when I first heard about her on the 4chan tags before they were permanently blacklisted from Omega. And from most of the people that I have spoken to, she became the topic of interest. It got me really curious about this individual. Despite her controversial views, I don't have a whole lot to say about this individual. Since there's very little information about her, I'm gonna let this person take it from here. Okay, so she's uh, a, I believe, now 17 Australian girl who claims to be in a rich adopted family. She's half uh, Arabic and half Russian. Her name's Leah. She's she's not a catfish either. She's the real deal. She's a real person. I was friends with her for about four days, and she's friends with someone named Orp. So his username is either Orp or Carl. Um, I see. That's his real name. I, I actually have seen her once since I told him about her. Um, I blocked her IP because I didn't want to ever see her again. Because she's annoying. I basically got replaced by some fat chick in the group. The last thing she said to me was calling me a fat... It was like something like she called me a fat... I think or something like that. And when... where was this taking place? Uh, Snapchat. Snapchat. Yeah. And you yeah, have her Snapchat. I do. She like thinks like conservative guys are hot. And she, she thinks like it's, she said to me something like, she thinks it's hotter or than like a guy being like a liberal or something. I'm like, oh God. Hmm, so, so she must be one of these people. She is one of those people. Yeah, she was gonna get, she knew a guy, she got engaged to a guy and they were gonna get married at 18, but they broke up. It's ED on eating disorder Twitter that I originally thought was her, but it is not her, so. Because some of the details on that Twitter account do not line up with what she has told me. So what exactly are the details in that Twitter account? Well, on that Twitter account, she told me, on the Twitter account, I read that the person was in school. She does not go to school. Hmm. She was apparently taken out of school at, at like fifth grade, so. Well, someone didn't finish her education. Uh, apparently she takes psychic classes too. That's the only time I've ever seen her face, but it lines up with the body shot pictures and, video and her on FaceTime, so I, it's a 99% chance it's her. This is the angle I usually would have saw once she got IV cam installed. Right, here's another one. And that is what I'm going to watch out for when I come across this individual. Yeah, look up for like IV cam and shit. Uh, last time she w was like holding her phone and like pointing it at her computer. That's when I blocked her IP. Right. Yeah, the, uh, the guy Orc or Carl. Last time I, met I saw him, I called him a monk. He called me a monkey. Hmm. Go figures. He's also, a, he's also a stony. Do have one more thing. There's one. There's a third person who basically replaced me. Her name is Kaz, I believe. Um, I have a screenshot of us, four of us, in a uh, call together. I can find it. There's a good screenshot of all of us in call. I did not look happy because I was not happy. I was sick of their shit by this point. You might want to point out who is who. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so that's Leah, that's Carl. Have you seen this guy? Um, and that is Kaz. Mm -hmm. I'm 
what about the bottom corner? That's me. I see. But yeah, she also, I think I mentioned this earlier, but she claims to have rich parents and, and has never met her actual parents. So she's adopted, has rich yeah. parents, and yet never met them before. No, she's no. The rich parents are the adopted parents. Oh, I see. The adopted yeah. ones. Yeah, and the yeah. ones. and the uh, ones she's never met are her birth ones. And she can also speak partially some Russian and some Arabic. I will say this: they aren't they aren't dangerous by any. A uh, Carl once claimed I was getting docs while we were speaking, but besides that, they aren't dangerous. Okay. Because we're all, like sad teenagers constantly like flirt with dudes who are in their 20s hmm I see one of them was like I'm pretty sure like 28 well actually that's just a speculation so what she wants to do for a job she said I'm honestly not like a hundred percent I like I like crime and scene investigation but currently I'm doing beauty psychology psychic development witchcraft spiritual healing and tarot courses Wait, what's beauty oh, psychology? Like Never heard of that one. Nope, she's not in college. She doesn't go to school even. Was the fourth person a guy or a girl though? That girl. Yeah, that's a big part. Stop. A girl. Though. And she was really annoying. I would, Wait, what's she was annoying though? Was she like bothering you? She's saying stuff that you didn't like. I don't know. She was just annoying. She was just a, yeah. She was just an asshole. She wasn't funny. And her in her own words, well, referencing uh, Drain Gang one. She referenced how she tried to take a knife and drain her life and the, I think the, the medics like tried to take the knife from her. Oh, and also she apparently has a humiliation fetish. Like she was getting turned on by some diet omegle degrading her. Alright, I guess that's another detail. Although there's actually a lot of other people that had witnessed this individual, as much as I'd like to interview them as well, it was already too late. And at the time, I didn't even know what was going on. So this is pretty much what I have about her so far. I'm very sure there's a lot more to it, but this is all I'm able to get. From what I've heard, she was associated with a boyfriend, now an ex, who happens to be a controversial figure himself in which I don't have any information about or any means to know who he really is. So we're just left with what we got so far. In other words, there isn't really much else I can add to this, so I'm going to wrap it all up and go from here. And hopefully she doesn't continue going into this rabbit hole of these kinds of ideologies that could potentially ruin her life if she continues on going that route. Till then, this is LR7 talking about Leah and and logging out. This boy. Well, you're probably in the states, so I won't actually like see the judicial process. And you're a but, cop you know. with signs of white supremacy, just within your fucking. Well, yeah, you don't he's know. A, he's a wannabe. You cop. don't know. Hey, he's a bootlicker. No, no, he's you a bootlicker. So look, 